Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this episode, we are back for a CSS cool effect tutorial. We'll show you how to create a light effect using CSS and transparent image easy trick to make it look realistic. Ready? Let's check it out. So here's the image we are going to use as background. First, I'm going to use quick selector tools in Photoshop to select the area we want to bring it in front of the text. This will take some time depends on the image you use. Once finished, create a copy into the new layer. Next, create a text layer. Note that we are just using it as a reference since the real text will be added in HTML. I will also add outer glow with the white color as well. At this point, you might want to review the outer layer again and use the eraser to clean up any unnecessary area. Once finished, Copy the outer layer into another layer again. And I'll use the dodge tool to create a light effect. Once you're okay with the final result, save each layer into separate PNG file along with the original one. At this point you should have three images, original, of the layer, and on the layer with light effect. Next, we'll work on the HTML. I will create a container div with three child divs inside for each image. For CSS, first I will set the container width and height. Then for all child dips, I will set the width and height to 100% of the container with absolute position. If you want to recap the difference between absolute and relative position, check out my video in the link above. Also set each layer with their corresponding image background. We will bring the first layer in front of the base by setting the z-index to 2 and do the same with another layer. At this point, you should have the background image with light effect layer on top. Next, I will create the text div between the base and other layers. Set the top, left and absolute position to put the text in place. Then set the font family and font size. For this tutorial, I will use Franklin Gothic Heavy. And here's my trick to use transform scale to adjust the text height. The important part is the text shadow. I will create three layers of text shadow to make the light effect more realistic. We'll start low with the first layer and keep expanding. Looks good. Next, let's add some hover effect. So when we move the mouse over, the text will be brighter. First, let's add hover effect when the mouse is over a container div. And then increase the text shadow opacity to 90%. Also add 1 second transition. We'll also adjust the opacity of the light effect layer at the same time. We'll set it to 100% on mouse over. And reduce it to 30% when it's not. 
And that's it. Let's see the result. And that's all for this episode. If you love this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. You can download the source code at the website link below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.